Hello and welcome to IndyCar at Las Vegas. Um, venturing into IndyCar again. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a couple, uh, I think a couple weeks maybe since I've last done Indy, and because uh, I still uh, I'm still pretty new to it. Uh, kind of just picking my spots where I try to give it a try to give it a go. Uh, but Nick's video on this made made it look pretty fun, so thought I'd give it a try. A track that uh, I don't think they'll ever go back to in real life, but we got it here on iRacing. Nick's race actually uh, was unusually pretty clean, so that was pretty uh, cool to see. Hopefully, we'll get the same here. But I'm not getting my hopes up too high. You got about five no idea how to qualify way. in this thing. I'm gonna just, uh, I guess, use this lap. I guess to... <laughs> I don't know. Get up to speed. I don't know if that's a thing. And then we'll run lower this lap. Lower fuel, so... Gotta be real careful. Super delicate. I don't know. That felt about as precise as I could be. Uh, fourth. I don't know. There's probably somewhere else I could be gaining time. No idea. But, uh... <laughs> that's the best I could do. What happens if I do, like, this fifth gear thing and just stick in it? Would that would have would that have been better? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I'm also burning more fuel off right now, so hard to say. Maybe I should have been switching. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I keep getting too close to that apron. Don't touch that apron. You will die. Maybe some guys were cutting it, and that's how they're getting uh, a little extra time. They took that risk. I'm about to run out of fuel, though. So, uh, <laughs> no more practicing. It's not like it's going to do me any good anyway, because it's going to be all about uh, working the air. Yeah, I bet people ran down there just on the coming to the line and got a little bit extra time I don't know no idea what I'm doing in this thing I always qualify really bad and I just wonder how on earth they're actually getting better times because it felt like I was about as precise as could be there and clearly I wasn't I and mean, we're only a tenth off so not too much to gain but that's that all right, get out of our empty vehicle. No fuel in it. And I guess we're just gonna have to wait for these people to be done. I don't know if they're uh, qualifying or if they're just choosing to wait. There's a very annoying tendency lately for guys to just decide not to uh, hit ready to race or just do one lap and then stop and they're like, Oh, are you guys waiting for me? Ha ha ha. And then everyone just frowns. I don't know why people think that's funny, but... Uh, it doesn't seem like that's happening here. It looks like there's just uh, people still maybe qualifying or... I don't know. Is everyone even in the room? I got one person that's not. Although they have the checkered flag, so they're not holding us up, I don't think. I don't know. Either way, we only got about 25 more seconds, so not going to be waiting that long. I'm just going to try to make it to the end of this one. I'm very likely going to uh, lose eye rating because, of course, this is oval eye rating. And I'm in a car that is foreign to me despite that, so I'm going to just try not to wreck anyone. And uh, maybe learn a little bit more about this car. Like, look at that, 24695. How? I mean, I, I know you could do, like, weight jacker and stuff, probably. 
So that would probably help too, but man. It's crazy. Once you go, next time by, right. you'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed right As now. usual, you will have to pit at some point during this race, despite it being a fixed series, because in IndyCar, you uh, need the fuel. Who's ready to die? I guess I am. Uh, and Andy Carr. You need to f you need to get the fuel, and uh, tires actually can be pretty useful as well. Sure looked like that way in Nick's video. <laughs> he was the first guy in tires, and that made the en the ending very very interesting. So, I'm um, trying not to spoil too much when talking about his video in case anyone hasn't seen it yet, and I don't want to give them any reason not to watch it. Cause you should. It's good stuff. Um. White Jacker is the opposite of the Silver Crown, so this would be looser, and this would be tighter. I'm going to live life on the edge. Look at that. Can you believe it? If I spin out immediately, I'm going to be really embarrassed now. But, uh, <laughs> hopefully I can handle that wild and crazy change I just made. Uh, my my uh, thought process is, well, I'm going to be driving in dirty air now, so... I guess I'll try to get out ahead of it a little bit. I'm really bad about uh, changing that stuff during the race. I usually don't think about it until the problem becomes worse and worse. So, because I'm always just focused on <laughs> surviving. Pacing's always an adventure in this series. It's always fun. In the inside lane. Not quite as much of an, an adventure as like a multi-class road series though. Not quite the production car challenge. Those are just... Those can be hideous. <laughs> but uh, these can be quite the spectacle as well. Speaking of quite the spectacle, I just got back from... Uh, speaking of Nick's... Speaking of a lot of things apparently. Uh, speaking of Nick... His uh, Tulsa shootout thing, what was he calling it? Tulsa Clash, that's what it was. With the uh, next-gen car. And, uh... <laughs> I decided to go ahead and just disqualify myself early, because I was really bad. I mean, everybody was kind of not great overall, because, I mean, it's the next-gen car at the Chili Bowl. I mean, it's like... <laughs> what are we doing? But, uh... And it was supposed to just be for fun, but uh, I was really slow... But still kind of picking up spots, because people were crashing out. But then I uh, self-spawned and brought a yell out, and I'm like, Nah, there's no reason for me to be <laughs> messing with the race this way. So uh, I just went ahead and disqualified myself, and I'll just enjoy the video when it comes out. But I gave it a try. Ready, going green. And uh, I think it should still be pretty entertaining to watch. For what it was. Anyway, we got a different race going on on a bigger track, so... In. Why are we not going? <laughs> like, hit the gas pedal. Genius over here. For real? And this guy's just not going at all. Like, on the start, through turn one, just not going. Whoa, I didn't even know that guy was there. Okay, well. This already could have gone bad in a number of ways. Inside. We got a guy in the wall. This is bad. He's gonna be broken. Still there at the bottom. Outside. I thought he was gonna be broken and wreck it in front of me, so I had to position myself elsewhere. Oh boy. Shifting into fifth in order to help it turn. Don't hit the apron. Remember my uh, plan just to survive here. And uh, get some more experience with Aero Push. Big mess ahead right now. I almost just want to lift off. But we got people behind us too, so.
Not so sure. Well, we we're outside, pinching us a little bit. Not sure if you want to do that, man. <laughs> I don't think I, uh, my guy, you want to be that close to. Gonna be an easier in the corners, not pushing through the arrow push as hard. Maybe it'll save the tires a little bit better. I can just see a huge pile up happening. Just any moment. There it is. Go low, go low, go low. Caution. We survived! You know, hold it to the bottom when you're wrecking yourself. Close, close, close. We survived. Yeah, whoever tried to come back up the back. Yeah, the guy that got sent down low, they looked like they were gonna save it. As they thought they were gonna save it. And, uh, well, they didn't spin, but they did fly up into the middle of the corner into people. So, uh, good job. Here's the good pacing, as is famous in IndyCar. How many tires we get? Two. I'm going to take track position, I think, unless everybody comes in. No reason to come in right now, I don't think. Maybe stay in front of the destruction, even. Look at this pacing. Beautiful. Nah, no hurry at all. Never mind the people that might want to actually pit. Like, what are we doing? Track position, thank you. Six point eight gallons. I could have saved six point eight gallons, so that would be too much to save, and if I had a if I added to full, it would be 2.3, so I'd still need to save like four something gallons, and I just don't see it happening, so. So, presumably, we won't finish last, assuming uh, those guys are done. These cars, you don't have the most. Uh, you don't have the most uh, leniency. Like, if these things are broken, they're broken. So, it's not like a stock car. Pardon me, getting a drink of my sweet tea? So, we made it a couple laps off the start here. It wasn't an immediate wreck. There was a pretty big pile up there, as predicted. And I was able to avoid it somehow. I thought I was dead as soon as I had to hit that apron. But uh, I kind of just used it for a moment, went back uh, onto the surface, you know, the banked surface, and uh, we were okay. Everything turned out better than expected. Now we'll have a little bit of track position. Don't know if we're gonna, how that's gonna turn out, but. Seven gallons. We'll see. One left to green. We're going green next time by. I'm gonna need a pit again, so I'm not worried about rolling around in like sixth gear or something. You know, using the clutch. If uh, the people in the back that took fuel can find a way to make it to the end, uh, good, good for them. Nice job. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, so. The best thing I have to do with this race is to not lose the points in the car, because I'm with many races that are negative, just losing. I'm going to lose that. He makes a good point, you know. I don't know what he said. Um, let's see, two sets of tires. So I think if we get another run, maybe I want to take the tires. Probably when I take the fuel. I guess that would be the way to do it. I don't know. But we're about to go. Whether this guy knows it or not, he does. <laughs> we're we're catching up now. Get ready, going green. It's good to leave a little bit of space in the Indy cars, but some guys are real dramatic about it. 
Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. You're in the top ten. This can't go. This guy's looking to get a black flag. He lifted it off though. Outside. Still there. Yeah, I'd like to get in front of this guy that doesn't know how to hit the gas pedal. Clear outside if you want to. Yeah, we do. Trying to combat the arrow push a little bit if I can. Trying to stay below it if I can. We're kind of right up here though. Not sure how I feel about that to be honest, but. Just trying to do what I can with the throttle to keep me, uh. Keep me holding the line I want. Driver in front of us is Kennedy. These things are so scary though. <laughs> They're so scary to drive. Outside. That guy's in a hurry to go I don't know where. Clear outside. To the front apparently, that's where he's going. I can't, there's nowhere to go right now though, for me, anyway. I'm willing to make any moves at this point. Keep low. Clear outside. Hmm. Almost got a little overzealous. That's the word, right? Overconfidence, what I'm trying to say. A little too eager. <laughs> Outside. Keep low. Just keep hitting the Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. Right, it's trying to run into the back of me, even though there's nowhere to go right now. Car outside. Stay low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Just gonna end up wrecked because uh, guys are trying to take it too wide. Still there. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Mm, there's the three wide. Still there. Keep low. It's kinda riding right now. Nowhere to go. Go low. Clear. Outside. Go low. Go low. There is a car on the high side. Just a big wall of cars in front of us, so you know, not much I can do about that. Just waiting. This guy drove himself into the wall and is taking it three wide, so we're probably gonna die. Car outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Oh. They want you in single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Interesting. Car Someone else wrecked before we could. We're under caution. It's closed. Twelve point five gallons. Twelve point five. Five point three. We make it? I don't think. I don't know if we can make it. Where's this fifteen? Come on. Maybe I'm just impatient, but this uh this sheer this series has uh gotten on my nerves enough. So tires, fuel. Sounds like a lot. Twelve point two. The leader, Franzioni, is pitting. 
Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Pit limiter in IndyCar. That's nice. We'll need to stop again. It says we need to stop again. Five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Still getting used to the brakes in these things. That's it, go! Alright. You only have one tire set remaining. They want you in single file. gallons. Will we be able to make it on fuel? Let's see what it says if we run around like this for a minute. Actually, we're under caution, so let's, uh... Number eight. That's the caution fuel usage, I think. 6.4 gallons. 6.4, okay. Are open. Six point four gallons. Still saying six point four. So we'll give it some more time. I'm really bad at this stuff, knowing well, what the numbers going. mean and everything. Like, okay. sure it says this number, but you still have to do this. So therefore, you're actually using this much. Like, I don't know any of those kind of things. Six gallons. Not saying six gallons. Okay. Six gallons. Hmm. Oh, that's so a lot to save. Do I even want to try to save? Yes, we will. Not that aggressively, though. We'll do three. Get ready. Going green. And then we'll uh, hear what it says later, and then we'll adjust accordingly. It has to adjust. The pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag. Guy going down the apron. What's happening back there? You get loose? Forgot to change his weight jacker back, maybe? Six gallons. It's selling six gallons still. We can do like two laps and then see what it says. If it's staying at six gallons, then. I'm not gonna be able to make up that much. See, we're a little slower because of uh, our engine map. Oh, they're wrecking up there, though. I saw a guy hit the wall. I swear I did, but I guess they didn't crash. I lifted off pretty good. Five point eight. But it's going down. The lap time was at twenty-four point nine. Five point six gallons. Five point six. Maybe we can save enough. I don't know. Five point four. Every time I have been pressing, it's been going down by point two, and that's a lot to be going down by. But 
this much to left to go in the race. That of course is when it says 5.2, 5.4. That's how many gallons of fuel I would need to make it if I were to pit. Like that guy did? I don't know what that was about, but it's gonna be a penalty? I don't know, but uh, anyway. Five point four, so that it's staying still. I'm keeping it in sixth gear to help save fuel. Five point one. I think we can save enough. We might have to go a little more aggressive later on, even, but we got a long time to go, and that's plenty of time to save that fuel. So let's hope they uh, hope they keep it green. We'll keep uh, stuck under the end of this draft here. Oh, that guy had to quit. Maybe, or maybe it was both. Maybe it was he got the black flag and then decided to quit. Hmm. We're getting draft as well. That should help our fuel economy. Five point two. Can we keep up if I go one more up here? Because I do want to keep uh, up with this group. Five gallons. Sorry, there's going to be a lot of numbers. <laughs> I'm just going to be updating myself with the numbers. I've got to do it while driving since I don't have an actual crew chief. <laughs> But seems like engine map four, we're still able to catch up or keep up rather. Five gallons. Five gallons still. What's the estimated laps we're getting? Okay, so about forty-seven laps. That should be enough. That would be enough according to this. Very, very interesting. Okay. Well, let's see how this one turns out. We'll have a good strategy race. Any of these India uh, races are good for that. When they're not crashing all the time, <laughs> they're good for that. So I'll, uh, I'll quit spamming the fuel remaining button, kind of just trust it for a minute, and uh, keep an eye out ahead of me, because they are still racing very close by each other at the moment. But I want to keep on to the tail end of this draft. I'm getting real low on the straightaways down there. Pretty scary having to enter the corner from that low. Four point seven. Still dropping. Lifting for this arrow push is helping as well. Getting the draft and then lifting corners. I wonder if these guys up front are going to be able to uh, make it to the end as well. They might be competing just fine with each other while still saving enough fuel. Four point three. Okay, so that's dropping pretty good. What's uh, this indicator saying when we get to the line? Maybe about forty-three. Forty-three. That would bring us to seventy. 4380. So that would be enough. Okay. All good signs. They're getting a little spread out in front of us. But they are able to keep up with the draft. I think we should be fine, though. We're just kind of all getting single file, which is good. Good potential for longer run. That guy's trying to hit the wall, though.
Mm, these guys are messing around a lot. I don't want to lose this draft. They look like they're trying. Come on. Really? We're going three wide? Can we catch the field, please? Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Boy, so swervy. doing pretty well. I wonder if we can catch back up to the tail of this. might move my engine map up just a little bit to try to catch back up. Although it looks like we're, we're catching back up to the tail end now, so we might not need to. I put myself in his arrow for some reason. I think we're okay, actually. Big arrow push. 3.1, okay, that's dropping good. I might actually... Water temperature's high. Why? <laughs> that's interesting. Didn't expect to hear that. I'm sure it's not a concern, right? It's a fake series. Thirty-three laps. Yeah, I better keep it on the center map. This guy's going, I guess. Clear inside. What are you doing? Hold the line. Temperatures are fine again. That was weird. Guess uh, the track got a short, quick heat wave in the middle of the race. Racing side by side. Everyone's spread out, but we're within each other's draft. Look at this guy doing, like, slider lines. Like, I think I'm around some guys that might not have long-term plans in mind. Just hitting the wall by himself. Go ahead, fight for the spot, though. Outside. Can we? Still there. Hmm. Losing them. Still there. Hold your line. Outside, clear. Corners, though, with clean air might bring us back. I 
nice clean track in front of us at the moment, so that's good. Two point eight seven laps. Uh, it's actually we're getting. I think being out of this draft is hurting us a lot. Cause we're actually uh, getting a little bit sketchier on being able to make it to the end. So I'd like to get closer to this draft, not only to be faster, but to uh, make it on fuel. So thanks for fighting for these spots. Guys. We're getting back in it though. Getting back into that arrow push too, holy cow. 2.2 gallons. 2.2 gallons. It's a good update. Lots of green flag racing, I love that. Seems like uh, something about Las Vegas makes people want to race clean. Small sample size, but you know. Point one. This is saying twenty three and a half. You've just done take us through lap seventy seven and it's a seventy five lap race. Okay. to see how this turns out, see if anyone up front can't make it, and, you know, see if uh, we're in a good spot or not. I bet a lot of those guys can make it, though, because they've been so entrenched in all that draft, even if they weren't using different fuel maps, or engine maps, what's it called? Fuel or engine? Engine map. Even if they weren't, maybe they're saving enough. Trying to use the tools I have available to me. Two point one gallons. One. Would like to use fifth gear again to help it turn. The leader is pitting, pitting now. Okay, so they can't make it to the end. Oh boy, this could get interesting. Look, this guy's way off pace. Oh, he's a lap car that just came out, I guess. Clear. Oh, it's still 2.1. 20 laps, okay. Still making it to about lap 77. That's a good number. This is exciting in a weird <laughs> strategy kind of way. I really like this kind of races, though. Because it's uh, it lends itself to crazy twists at the end, like stuff you never expect. Like, oh my gosh, the leader pit. <laughs> like, just ha what just happened. The lap time was 25.3. Alright, we're in the ones. 1.7 now. We got 16 laps to go. Is that guy by the wall, is he a lap car or is, uh, is that someone on our lap that had trouble? Lap car, okay. Is the lap car going to wreck someone? Everyone seems more bunched up all of a sudden. 1.5 gallons. The thing is, I still have to be using that strategy that I've been setting up this whole time. I still gotta be off the gas, because it's the trend I've been following. So I'm still gonna be staying off of uh, fifth gear as well. Shout out to the lap car for fighting me. 
stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Outside is clear. This guy is zooming up through, I guess. Uh-oh. <laughs> In real life, there's a car alarm going off. Well, that's not <laughs> audible. I can stop already, though. Oh, this is getting exciting. This guy's yeah. diving to my inside. Alright, thank you. It's not like I was going to take that line. Go ahead and slider me. Thanks. 0 0.9. That's all we have to save. About 15 laps. I think we can go ahead and do engine map 3 now. We'll see where that takes us. We might have to revert course in a moment, but we're more in the draft now. Maybe we'll do fifth gear as well. One fading, one fading. Ooh, that's a lead lap guy, I bet. Okay, river, river, it's going back up. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> one point, one gallons. That was not. That was oozing the gas too fast, so. We're just gonna keep doing this to the end, I think. I don't think that was a lap car in the pit. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there. Clear, car inside, clear. Go. Zero point four gallons needed to make it. You're in the top ten. That's clean air for the moment. I think we pretty well got a top 10 so long as uh, there's no crashes real soon here. Even if there's still crashes a little bit later though. Uh, it'll end the race, there's no green-white checkers. Hitting, this guy says. Is that a lead lap guy? Are they trying to trick people into pitting? <laughs> Pull more people in? I don't know. I missed the draft, I will say that. That was helping me make it to the end. Oh, we really do have a person pitting. That's a spot! Still set to make it on fuel. Nine. There's a pretty old. You can really feel it. 0.1, we're pretty much good on making it, but we still gotta keep at this pace. Five laps of fuel left. Alright. It's enough to make it. Zero gallons are right on the edge. This guy, okay. Outside is clear. Let's still get his draft now. And arrow push, I guess. That's a. We got more lead lap guys going in. Ooh, this is interesting.
I'm gonna start using fifth gear. Don't know what this lap car's doing. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. White flag. It's pushing me up the track. Still there, hold your line. Inside, clear inside. Engine map one. Oh, so many things to change. Whoa! Where'd we finish? Where'd we finish? Top five! Alright! That was awesome. I had a couple laps to spare. Three places, four places. Congrats, all you guys who made it. Good race, guys. Good race and good win. That was a lot of fun uh, doing the fuel mileage game there. <laughs> yeah, that's really done. That was cool. I like that. I feel like that's like one of the first like full on like really tight on fuel fuel mileage races I've been able to do and that was a blast it paid off to all those people we passed on the last lap I could have uh, charged a little sooner but uh, I just I was being a little careful you know didn't want to be one of those guys on the last lap losing four spots because they're running out that was cool that was fun all right so we ended up with a top five I kind of want to see those uh, at least like the last two laps just real quick to see how many people we were passing as we uh, turned on the turbo. <laughs> all right. So we were all the way back here with our fuel map. This is coming to a uh, lap 73. And there's a lap car that goes by. We get a little bit of draft from them. And you can see with two laps to go, some guys are just like all of a sudden in full fuel save mode. And we are just catching up fast. <laughs> wow. All those guys we passed. And that was it. Wow. Let's uh, check out the incidents. Love the green flag run, too. We had the, what, two cautions it was? And then we were green all the way to the end, and that's what allowed that to happen. That's why green flag racing is so great. All right, lap one, what do we have? I swerve into the wall, his wheel's not really broken, but uh, probably didn't help his car. We just see like the number one do that, you know, just swerve into the wall on the tri-oval. That, wow, yellow car just punts him out of the way. They were kind of, they were mad at this guy for coming back on track, but I'm trying to think, like, could he even have done anything there? Like, obviously the person that did it was this guy. Just trying to make some crazy move, and then, like, I guess maybe you lock it down here. Instead of trying to save it, but... I don't know. I'm not sure if he, I think he's coming back up the track anyway, if he locks it down. Because, I mean, that he locks the tires, he's just going to slide back up. So, by keeping rolling and getting grip from the tires, I don't know. That's a tough spot to be in. I think you got to be mad at the guy that ran into it, first of all. First and foremost. I don't know, that stinks. And, of course, these guys have nowhere to go. That's just wrong place at the wrong time. And then this big checkup start here. Breaks a wing off right there on the green because uh, couldn't figure out which way to go. But yeah, like look at the guy that was like in front of me starting. Just he does not go at all. We just go and I see him, and then just several seconds go by. He just he's still not going. It's like he started in fourth gear or something. And this guy behind's doing the opposite and trying to get a run up and get cheap spots. But he can't pass me on the left. So, I guess I'm glad I stayed to the right so he couldn't go by me. Like, this guy just does not know how to hit the gas pedal or something. It 
It's not the first time we've seen that. Hitting the wall on the trial. Oh. Yeah, I can't hit that apron. That's what happens. Wonder if that was a caution or uh yeah it was a caution. That's net code. Looks like he's okay. He might have damage though, that'll hurt him a lot, but didn't seem that bad. On lap 45 now. It's nothing. Hey look, it's me. That's me, right? Is that me? That's not me. That's someone with a similar paint. <laughs> I just saw the blue and red. I was like, is that me? Nah. That looks similar, but different. Seeing all that. Here's some shifting. Helping get through the arrow. Through the air. My tires at at the end. Oh, 3079. That's probably not good. Wish I hadn't looked at that actually. <laughs> I don't know anything about saving tires in any car. I would guess it's probably just not pushing as hard when your car's tight. Probably using the uh, weight jacker that I completely forgot to use the entire race, like I said I would. Probably that. What'd I tell you? Like, I don't remember to do that stuff. Maybe if I had, like, a hotkey or something on my wheel, maybe I would remember, but I don't really have any extra buttons for that. Oh well, I still got a top five. So maybe I would have otherwise spun out had I been messing with the weight jacker, so. Easy to say, like, oh, I could have gotten better, but could have gotten worse, too, if I started messing with the weight jacker, so. I guess these are tires getting worn. Is that why we're seeing all this? So there's a lot of nothing happening, but uh, we are getting close to the end of the race here. So the car's on the bottom. I guess that guy's running out of fuel. <laughs> What a, f what a fun finish. That was very, uh, very, very interesting. I love races like that. And uh, we end up, uh, it ends up paying off our fuel strategy. We, uh, from the very beginning of that run, decided that we were going to be uh, good on the fuel. And it paid off. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. So, uh, let's see, we go from 13th to 5th. That's an 8 spot uh, climb. Very, very nice. Top five always nice, especially when I'm num number four, right around where I'm supposed to finish. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I, I love that. I love fuel mileage races. So I'm really glad that that's how that turned out. We had enough green laps to make it happen. And uh, a very, very fun finish. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. See ya.